I brought spares if anyone else is hungry. Judges, anyone? Yup, we've got to take her. Oh. Go on. If you listen to the media these days, you'd be forgiven for thinking everything causes cancer. And one of the main culprits the media likes to put a little bit of blame on is radiation. I'm a fan of radiation in the form of bananas. Bananas are actually radioactive. So why have we never seen a media article telling us to keep them away from our children? The reason is because radiation is highly misunderstood. Radiation, quite simply, is the transfer of energy from one place to another. That's it. There are loads of different types of radiation, and most of them are harmless. Think about this. In your house, you have a radiator. It's right there in the name. <laughs> Radiators use radiation, infrared radiation, to help heat your house. But the media has never said to take the radiator out of your house, you're going to get cancer. Because they don't. They don't have enough energy to interact and damage our cells. We have to worry about high energy radiation in the form of ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation is radiation that has enough energy to get into your atoms and cause damage, which can lead to cancer. So if it's a question of energy, what is the different scales? Right down at the bottom, the lowest energy radiation, you have radio waves used in your Wi-Fi and your phones and your radios. Microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, which you're using to stare at me. And then we get into the danger zone with UV and X-rays and gamma rays. <laughs> this upper bracket is what we have to be worried about in our daily life. This upper bracket is ionizing and causes cancer. So, if bananas are radioactive, where do they go on this scale? Right up the top. Bananas release gamma radiation because of the potassium in them. Now, if they're so highly energetic and dangerous, why are we not worried? The danger is in the dosage. There's such a little amount of potassium in bananas, it releases such a teensy tiny amount of radiation that for you to increase your likelihood of getting cancer by less than 1%, you would have to eat 1,020,408 bananas at the same time. <laughs> your stomach is going to rupture way before you have to worry about cancer. So, the next time you see a media article which tells you, be careful of this, be careful of that, there's radiation everywhere and we're all going to die. Do your research. Figure out what type of radiation it is. Is it ionizing? And what's the dosage? So you know whether to be worried or whether the media is just going bananas. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs>